what's on your playlist right now? I'm going to my class. Um, Go to Guilty Pleasure Food. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> We're brother and sister Tiara and Tanish Abraham. I'm 16 and just graduated from UC Davis with a Bachelor of Arts degree in vocal performance. And I just turned 19 years old and I'm a PhD candidate in biomedical engineering at UC Davis. As a transfer student, I was only here for two years. But through this short time, I was able to perform on stage at the beautiful Mandavi and Pitzer Centers and also sing the national anthem for the men and women's basketball games and more recently at the commencement ceremonies. And I originally came to UC Davis as a 13-year-old transfer student back in 2016, obtaining my bachelor's in biomedical engineering in 2018. My PhD research is focused on applying artificial intelligence to microscopy and pathology for better patient diagnostics and care. Welcome to Face to Face, Tiara Tanishk. Uh, Thank you for having us. We are Thank so you. happy that you could join us today. Um, now, usually um, I like to think I'm the smartest person in the room, but pretty sh <laughs> I'm pretty sure today I am not. Uh, you guys have impressive academic records, and uh, my congratulations to you and your families. It's uh, really, really your great representatives of the university, and we're really proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, my first question is, what drove both of you to get degrees at UC Davis? Um, well, um, I think, of course, we all know that UC Davis is an amazing uh, university, uh, amazing four-year university, um, and um, you know, leader in a lot of different fields. Um, and so, of course, that you know, we were very excited to be ha to have the opportunity to come to UC Davis. And also, um, uh, another aspect was, uh, you know, my mom also uh, went to UC Davis for. Um, uh, for a graduate education as well. So we already have some roots here at UC Davis. So we were also familiar with the place. We used to come to picnic day in the past as well. So we were familiar with the place and uh, we knew the, the, the area and uh, you know, we really liked it. So uh, we were excited to, uh, um, uh, to go to UC Davis and get our education here. Great. So mom was a great recruiter for us. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear that. Uh, Tiara, tell me about graduating in only two years. I mean, what challenges did you face along the way, if any, and how did you, how did you adjust to them? Yeah, so basically I, I transferred as a junior uh, to UC Davis in 2020, you know, that, that year <laughs> uh, where everything was online. And so for me, as, as a music major, as a vocal performance major, I was taking, you know, voice lessons online via Zoom. Uh, and I had to prepare for my for my junior recital um, and and perform it in front of in front of you know a, an empty you know audience you know just my family which was really nice and you know I had my my uh, my 88 year old grandma you know in the audience which was really uh, really nice to to have her there but you know it was live streamed uh, or premiered uh, on YouTube and I'm glad that you know everyone really enjoyed watching it online and. Um, and then, you know, we went back in person in 2021 and that was really cool to, you know, finally meet my professors and, and classmates. And, and then I had my senior recital just last May. And you've been a tremendous success in those two years. So congratulations to you on that. Thank you. Uh, Tanish, you started as a 13 year old undergraduate and now you're a 19 year old PhD student. Uh, what's your experience been like here at UC Davis? Yeah, I really enjoyed my time at UC Davis. I, as, as you said, started at, at 13 years old. Um, and uh, yeah, I started as a transfer student here. Um, and, you know, during the, the, the two years as a, a biomedical engineering student here, I learned so much and uh, it's, it's been great, you know, interacting with the professors and with the classmates. Um, and, um, and I, and I really enjoyed the environment. And so I was very excited to continue actually at UC Davis for my, my graduate studies. And it was really great because, you know, I'd already known the, the environment and the place. And so it was just great to, uh, to uh, continue and focus on research. But one of the really nice things that I like about UC Davis is kind of the interdisciplinary nature uh, when it comes to uh, the research over here at, at Davis. And so uh, uh, I'm doing my research in the medical center and that's been a really great opportunity to have that medical center where we can work closely with uh, clinicians and and work more closely on having a positive 
impact um, on, on patient lives. So that's a really nice advantage of the UC Davis environment where there's that interdisciplinary um, uh, environment. Great. So, um, Tierra, can you talk about your senior honors recital and the original composition that you sang for that? Yeah. So basically, uh, for my senior honors recital, I had to perform an hour's worth of music. Um, and so I was able to collaborate with, uh, with uh, so many uh, talented musicians, you know, instrumentalists. Um, and also I got a premiere, an original composition that I uh, composed actually for an honors project. Um, and, you know, so that was like, you know, I'm like, I need to, perf- I need to premiere this because, you know, it was for soprano and piano. Um, and basically I set uh, a, two poems by an African-American poet, Georgia Douglas Johnson, a Harlem Renaissance poet. Uh, and so, you know, as, you know, it was a, during a time, you know, where, you know, and we just needed some, you know, uplift. And, uh, and so, you know, these are really just two, uh, you know, uplifting poems that I, I hope, you know, my music uh, brought justice to. And, and I, I, I was really honored to, you know, just perform that, you know, music. Uh, and uh, it was just a really great experience. I'm sure it was. I bet, were you nervous doing an original song? No, no, I wasn't really nervous because like I knew it, you know, you know, just through and through, you know, because, um, but, you know, I, I also worked with a wonderful collaborative pianist who really helped, um, and he was the one that was accompanying me in the performance. And uh, yeah, he, he really, you know, helped me, you know, you know, fine tune like a couple, you know, like the piano parts, because, you know, I'm, I, you know, I, I knew to write my, the, the voice part, you know, uh, and, you know, just to, you know, get, you know, the, some of the piano parts uh, more smooth or, you know, so it was really nice to have input also from a pianist, pianist perspective. And yeah, it was just a really, uh, you know, fun experience, you know, because, you know, just stepping outside of my performing uh, world and, you know, kind of delving into the composing world. So Great. That's terrific. So, so Tanish, uh, one important skill for any PhD student or PhD recipient is to be able to explain your research to a <laughs> layman, yeah. sort of give your elevator speech. Yeah. Give us your elevator speech for your research. Yeah. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, my uh, lab is actually at the medical center. Uh, what we are interested in is uh, developing new technologies to better analyze tissue for, uh, you know, providing diagnosis for patients. So obviously when a patient is trying to get a diagnosis, for example, a cancer diagnosis, they have to take a sample of tissue and view it under the microscope. So our lab is developing new types of microscopes to um, to help with that process and, and um, speed up that process. Um, and I focus actually on developing uh, deep learning technologies, artificial learning, uh, artificial intelligence uh, algorithms to help analyze those images produced by our microscopes and also help doctors better uh, examine and analyze uh, those images as well. I see. So you're using neural networks or or other techniques in deep learning? Yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, cutting edge uh, technologies and cutting edge algorithms. So it's very exciting to to, be at the forefront of, of, of that field. Sounds really impressive. I'm sure it will help help people eventually uh, yes. all over the world. So um, uh, this one's for both of you. Okay, um, what's your proudest accomplishment to date? Oh my! Uh, well, I, can I say two? You can pick. Two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, my senior recital, okay. um, and also my performance uh, uh, at with the UC Davis Symphony Orchestra. Um, that was also, you know, I as the winner of the of the um, competition, concerto competition, I was able to perform with the UC Davis Symphony Orchestra, and that was really a, a wonderful moment, you know, just to, to, to be on stage on Mandavi and to perform with the, with the talented musicians, uh, you know, that was just a really great experience. I'm sure it was. How about you, Tanisha? I think in general, it's just um, uh, knowing how I've inspired so many students from around the world. Um, that that I think is one of my biggest accomplishments and I guess one of my biggest impacts um, um, on this world. You know, I hear a lot of messages from uh, many students uh, saying that they've heard my story and it's inspired them to to reach their goals. I you know recently there was a story about how in uh, India there was a, a student who was trying to uh, you know progress their education um, and. Uh, like I think they were trying to skip a grade or something like that, and it reached one of the high courts there, and they used my 
uh, my case or my example uh, in support of of the student. So you know, it's been very humbling to hear all these amazing stories, and I think that's one of my biggest accomplishments. How I've been able to impact the world uh, uh, and inspire many other students. Being an inspiration to other people has got to make you feel really good. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a very impressive and. Uh, next time someone asks you this question, though, you can always say being on face-to-face with Chancellor. <laughs> yeah, <Ray>. exactly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, what's next for both of you? Uh, well, I am off to uh, Jacobs School of Music at Indiana University uh, for grad studies to earn a Master of Music. Um, and that is one of the top uh, music schools in the country where, um, you know, the opera productions are pretty much in level with Metropolitan Opera. Um, so I'm just really looking forward to, to going there and, and you know, to, to gain, you know, performance opportunities and just also to learn from other uh, talented musicians. Good luck. Thank You'll be you. great. It's Thank cold you. in Bloomington, though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Tanish? Well, I'll be focusing on wrapping up my research here at UC Davis. And then after I complete my research and obtain my PhD, um, I'm planning to uh uh, go to medical school, so I'll take a break and get prepared for that and head over to medical school. So, so you want to be an MD, PhD. Exactly, yeah. yes, because again, I want to focus on uh, how I can provide impact to patients, and I think that becoming both a, a, a practicing clinician as well as a medical researcher can uh, really help me achieve that, that goal. Any interest in an academic career? Uh, I think as part of that, you know, uh, I'll be I guess part of a university, uh, you know, like a university hospital or something like that. So through that route, I'll uh, potentially be having an academic career. Wonderful. Don't forget about us at UC Davis. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, now we're going to play a game we like to call Hot Seat. Okay. And in this game, I'm just going to ask you some wh- rapid fire questions, and we're looking for one word or one sentence answers. It can be a little longer. Mm-hmm. Uh, you ready? Okay. okay. Here <laughs> sure. we go. Uh, who's the favorite child? Oh, my God. <laughs> that is, that is so- a hard question. I mean, I don't. I think uh, you know our our parents don't really show favoritism. Uh, they they try to have equal opportunities for for both of us and try to help us out equally. So it I don't I don't think it's fair to our parents to <laughs> to answer that question. Uh, that's a very diplomatic answer, Tanish. We'll let you off the hook, though. Uh, what adjective would each of you use to describe the other? Smart. <laughs> I'd say uh, uh, passionate or driven. Excellent. All right. My sister and I would have different adjectives <laughs> for each other, maybe not so complimentary. Um, hardest subject in school? Mm-hmm. History. History. Um, maybe English. English, yeah. okay. But I think I've gotten better over it over the years, but I think definitely when I started out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Who is your biggest inspiration? Who? Well, to start off, my my family and, and my brother, like he's my role model uh, from the very beginning, you know, when like when he was homeschooled, I'm like, he, you know, I saw he was accelerating. I'm like, why not? Why not try that out and see? And, you know, again, that also worked out for me also. And uh, yeah, that's a good one. How about you, Tanisha? Uh, I, I guess similarly, yeah, my 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 parents um, and um, of course, seeing how much they have, uh, you know, we, we learn a lot from our parents and, you know, how, how they reach their goals and, and pursue their goals. Um, and, of course, even our, our grandparents, for example, uh, our, uh, um, my grandma is, was one of the, the first women Ph.D. veterinarians in uh, India. And uh, uh, my, my grandpa was also a, 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 a veterinarian Ph.D. And, you know, seeing how they also achieve their goals and pursue their goals is, is an inspiration for us as well. So I think, yeah, it, we have a lot of inspirational figures in our family, and that has also been, uh, uh, you know, really helpful for us as well. Great answers, and, and you can tell how close your family is, and your, your parents and your grandparents have clearly done a great job in, in raising both of you. Thank yeah, you. and then, of course, people like you as, all, as, as, as <laughs> yeah. well has also been a huge inspiration as well. So especially uh, your leadership ability as well has been really inspirational for, I think, I think a lot of students here at UC Davis. You didn't have to say that, but I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, now it's your turn. You can ask me anything you'd like to ask. Yeah, and one of the questions I had, you know, being someone focused in in artificial intelligence, and a lot of my research is focused on that, is how UC Davis can become a leader in the field of artificial intelligence. You know, I think we already are on that path. Um, 
we just a couple of years ago, we got a uh, $20 million grant from the National Science Foundation to establish an institute, an AI institute in uh, uh, food and agriculture, uh, which is off to a really wonderful start. And we are expanding that work to areas like your own and other areas across the campus with AI applications. And we really want to be known as a, a, a center of, of knowledge and research in, in artificial intelligence going forward. Very exciting. And I have a question. Um, so as you, as an African-American, how has your identity influenced your musical experiences? Like like growing up, did you did you ever listen to like Western classical music or or did you listen more to to, you know, jazz or or was it just the musical aesthetic that attracted you to a certain genre? I think uh, growing up, I had a very eclectic uh, exposure to various types of music. Uh, my, my dad was a big R&B and jazz fan, and he used to carry around eight-track tapes. You don't know what those are, <laughs> but <laughs> those are mu- a music medium of the time. I uh, went to, to a, a traditional African-American church, so gospel music was an influence. And I went to a, a school uh, that was mixed and you know, got to listen to you know, rock and other forms of music that uh, my co- classmates liked. So I, I kind of like music in general. I like all music. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and it's been a, part of my, a strong part of my upbringing. And I, it's a big part of my uh, w- big way for me to relax now is to listen mm-hmm. to music. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to ask another question. <laughs> you always have two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if your life had a theme song, what would it be? Oh, wow. Theme song. Okay. Um, my favorite song is As by Stevie Wonder. Mm-hmm. I think it has some of the most beautiful lyrics ever written, and his performance is outstanding as well. But I don't know if I would say that's my theme song. I guess one of the, thing, one of the songs I like to reflect on uh, – uh, when I'm just, you know, thinking about life is, is Zoom by the Commodores. Uh, it talks about getting away and uh, having some peace, uh, not just for yourself, but for, for the rest of the world and being away from all the, the, the challenges and struggles of the world uh, and having a, a fresh perspective. Now, uh, people have, on my staff have asked what music would I like to walk onto the stage to when I go to events. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'm going with this is how we do it. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, so uh, I think that's all of our questions. Uh, I'm just so proud of both of you and happy that you've chosen UC Davis. And, you know, I actually skipped third grade myself. I don't know if I've ever told you this. No. Oh. So I used to think I was hot stuff for that, but now I'm a lot more <laughs> humble having met both of you. Uh, and and I, I hope you've enjoyed your time here at UC Davis. Um, we're just lucky to have such bright and talented students. And, and thank you for, for being here. Thank you for doing uh, face-to-face with me. Thank you. Yeah, thank and you we're so lucky to have a wonderful chancellor like you also. Yeah. <laughs> You're very kind. <laughs> and, and thanks to everyone watching. Uh, we'll see you next time on Face to Face. Go Ags. Go Ags.